Okay, so for functional, I'll give you a few notes at the top. All right, the first, first one's a definition. First and second one are definitions, quick definitions. The first one is a relation. And basically everything we did yesterday with domain and range, all the problems that you saw with the sets of coordinate, uh, set of order pairs, those are relations. Okay, every problem that you saw yesterday and you determine whether it's what the domain was, what the range was, those were all relations. So a relation is just any set any set of ordered pairs. Okay, any set of ordered pairs. And then uh, the next thing, the next definition is a function because a function is a special type of relation. Okay, so a function is a relation where each x has only one y, has only one y. Okay, so a relation, any set of ordered pairs, a function is a special type of relation where each X has only one Y. All right, so the definition will help um, some of you, um, but I think the visual cue will help most of you. Okay, so under the next part here, I'm gonna write visual cue, C-U-E. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you when it is not a function, okay? So you can kind of tell by looking at an ordered pair, it's kind of easy to tell. It's not a function, okay, if there are repeats in X. Okay, it's not a function if you see X the same X being repeated. And then also for a graph, uh, got ahead of myself there, for a graph, okay, for a graph, uh, it's not a function if any vertical line okay vertical line meaning a line going straight up and down can pass through two or more points. Okay. And this is called the vertical line test. Okay. All right, so let me highlight a couple of things here. Not a, not a function repeats in X. Okay, so very easy to see. If you see X repeating itself, any X value repeating itself, not a function. Okay, and then for a graph, not a function if a vertical line can pass through two or more points. Okay, the visual cues are easier to look for usually. For most students, all right? All right, I'm gonna give you some examples here. 
of what you'll see in IXL. Okay, so for number one, uh, you have this four comma six, three comma negative one, negative one, negative two, three comma zero. Okay. And then I'm gonna skip one, two, three. I guess I'll skip three lines and put number two. Okay. And for number two, it's five, negative three, six, comma, negative one, negative five, comma, four, two, comma, negative seven. Okay, so uh, for the IXL, it's all multiple choice. It's either uh, you're gonna click function or you're gonna click not a function. Or actually, let me see. No, it's gonna ask you, is this a function? And then you're gonna click yes or no, okay? Or you're gonna, you're gonna uh, choose, it's gonna give you four options and you're gonna choose the one that is a function, okay? All right, so on one like this, let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna click yes or no if it's a function or not, okay? We're gonna click function or not function. All right, so if you look at the X's, just the X's, look at the threes, right? There's a repeat in those X's, okay? So repeat in X, I'll write that here. Okay, that's what I mean by there's a repeat in the X, okay? Or if we're going by the definition, this X, this three, doesn't have only one Y. It has two Ys, okay? So this is not a function. There's a repeat in the X, okay? So right, not function. Okay. But if I look at number two, uh, five, six, negative five, two, five and negative five are different. Okay. There are no repeats in the X. Okay. For every X, there's only one Y. Okay. There's no repeats in the X. This is a function. Okay. All right. In numbers three and four, I'm going to give you some tables. Okay, so you'll see some ordered pairs that are written in tables. So let me uh, write those. So you have an X and a Y column. Okay, and then we'll have a five, two, six, four, five, seven, one, eight. Okay, I'll do number four here another XY table. Um, I have four, six, three, eight, seven, six, and one, two. Okay, so in number three, again, look at the visual cue, okay? It's not a function if there are repeats in X. So again, in this one, there's a repeat in X. Okay, so number three is not a function. I'll just put not function. Okay. In number four, look at the X's. There are no repeats in the X, okay? There's a repeat in the Y, but that's not part of our visual cue. We're only looking at the X, okay? This four, there's no other four. Um, uh, this four has a six four Y, okay? Uh, but that's, there's not another four that has another Y, okay? Uh, so, uh, there, are, yeah, just look at the X's is the best way I can say it without confusing anybody.
okay? You don't, you don't care about the y's, just look for repeats in the x's, okay? So this would be a function. Yeah, I can't figure out a way to, to say it uh, other than that without confusing anybody or myself, okay? So um, just looking at the x's. All right, for number five, okay? I want you to draw a uh, three vertical lines to the right of the y axis. Okay, so you got your y and you got your x, and we'll we'll number them too. Zero, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'll do the same thing for six. One, two, three. My X, there's my Y, one, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw some points. So in number five, I'll draw four points. There's one point at the three. Uh, there's a point right here at one, X is one, Y is two. There's another point at X is one, Y is one. And then there's another point at X is three, Y is one. Okay. <clears throat> and then in number six, uh, I'm gonna do a point on the Y axis at one. I'm gonna do a point at X is one, Y is two. I'm gonna do a point at X is two, Y is two. I'm gonna do another point at x is three, y is two. Okay. All right, so pan out to so make sure you see the video cue in the notes. All right, so for a graph, it's not a function if any vertical line can pass through two or more points, okay? So a vertical line, meaning a line going straight up and down. So look at when X is three. If I draw a vertical line, right, only hits one point, that's okay. At X is zero, I draw a vertical line, right, only hits one point. But look at this vertical line right here at X is one, right? Right there, it hits two points, okay? So again, look at your notes, I highlighted not a function if a vertical line can pass through two or more points. Well, that's two points right there. Okay, they're stacked on each other. Okay, this would not be a function. So this, we would say this is not a function. Okay. But in number three, if you take a look at number three, any vertical line that I draw Right, only hits one point, only hits one point, only hits one point, and this vertical line also only hits one point. Okay, so there is there are no vertical lines that hit two or more points. They all hit just one point. So this would be a function. Okay, and then the last thing I'll say about number five is, this vertical line hits two points, okay? Realize that means there's a repeat in the X, okay? This point where my pin is now, X is one, Y is one, one comma one. This point right here, X is one, Y is two. This is one comma two, this is one comma one, right? There's a repeat in those X's, okay? In a graph, vertical line, Right, will help you see that. This vertical line hits those two points. So it hits two points or more, it's not a function. Okay. <clears throat>